So the game you are looking at is called Dungeon Defenders. This is an indie game that kind of got me fascinated with this whole PC versus tablet um, debate that's been going on on some forums, uh, YouTube videos, etc. So I wanted to see what it's all about. And the reason I chose this game is because first of all I saw it on the WTF is that Total Biscuit did it with one of the developers of the game and I, I, I watched the video and uh, I remember uh, the developer saying that the game would be cross platforms but I was like eh whatever okay that's all great but I'm probably not gonna play the game because it's not my type of game genre that I enjoy but a couple of months maybe two well, maybe a month and a half, the Asus E Transformer Prime tablet came out and it's running on Tegra 3 chip which is supposed to be like super fast for um, gaming and stuff like that uh, and uh, there is a new type of market for a design that uh, Google did uh, which is called Tegra Zone and Dungeon Defenders was a game that was free on Tegra Zone and I'm like it's free why not get it right so I picked it up I started kind of playing around with it and I like hold up I saw this game on the video the Total Biscuit that is so and it looked a little bit different uh, the concept is the same the theory is the same uh, the gameplay is the same so I was like what exactly is the difference and how exactly do does the PC version and the tablet version stack up and so that is the point what what's the deal with it okay first of all the the look of the game basically the the graphics and so it's, I would say it's less about graphics and more about aesthetics because uh, well the PC version is uh, has these darker lines, this different art uh, that is being used. I'm assuming this is like more advanced. Uh, it's aesthetically much more uh, prettier, I, I guess. Uh, I don't even know because personally, I prefer the tablet version, even though it is uh, much more simplistic. But for some reason, for the eye, I prefer the the basic version which is the tablet one uh, and I kinda get why it's more basic because it's harder to uh, to actually produce same quality whereas PC, uh, as on the PC since well PC is like what 50 times more powerful than the tablet CPU and um, so it's more of a question of what do you like rather than what is actually better um, now the controls for the games are completely different and it's completely understandable since one is on the tablet and is one on the PC although I think that if developers uh, wanted they could make the controls for the tablet version um, a lot better but at the same time I do understand why they did what they did basically Aces E Transformer Prime tablet has a dock which is a keyboard a full layout keyboard and there is a USB port on the dock so you can do put in a wireless uh, mouse so technically you you can have same setup as you do at your PC but from what I've seen the tab version does not support the dock and a keyboard so you have to use the controls that are on the screen and the controls are far from phenomenal first of all the motion controls 
it's a basically it's a joystick type of stick that you use your thumb to move with as you can see it's at the bottom left hand side the problem with it is that one you have to um, it's kind of like 3d joystick on a 2d uh, pad which makes it extremely awkward to move and turn around and run uh, it's, it's, it's just extremely awkward it's, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it but it's, it's it's unnatural and it's taking a lot of time getting used to actually moving and controlling and even when you do get used to it I played it for maybe an hour maybe a little bit more and I'm still it's still hard to get used to it but at the same time which is kind of fascinating uh, the way I recorded this was I first recorded on the tablet play and then while watching the tablet play on my second screen I will play the PC version to make it as close as possible uh, the playing so it can be visible what's what's what like the waves the motion the combat etc so I actually had a little bit harder time controlling the PC version from the tablet uh, after playing the tablet one the PC game it took a little getting used to, so I guess maybe it's more about getting used to the how the game is uh, supposed to be played rather than which version is better so it's, uh, it's just it's fascinating that even though the tablet version is kind of worse it's still uh, it's still harder to transition into the well not harder it's it, it takes time to transition to do the PC version so it's kind of it's fascinating that's the only way I can come up with okay even though that's fascinating there are problems with the tablet controls first of all the map the map button is on the bottom left hand side under the joystick and it's it's really it's really uh, bad placement I think because to open up the map you have to stop controlling your character because you're not gonna use another finger while your thumb is still controlling your character so basically you have to use that thumb that you use for motion to open up the map to see where the enemies come from what needs repairing where you've been breached etc so you need the map especially on later stages where you do not know the map layer as well as you do on simpler maps because the the one that you're looking at right now is the uh, first dungeon uh, on easy mode so it's not supposed to look hard to any extent which is uh, just mainly to show that the uh, like back to like back to back what's what so the map thing has a extremely bad place on it whereas on a PC you just tap shift it opens up you can still run you can still shoot you can do everything that needs to be done which is well you kind of you kind of have to expect that since you are using mouse and a keyboard and mouse and keyboard is like the most accurate form of control for a game created I guess um, and anyone who disagrees with me that's fine but I think most people agree that maps and keyboard are way more accurate than a joystick or especially this virtual joystick control that the tablet's basically using um, but at the same time I do like this whole uh, abilities being on the screen and I don't have to use the um, keyboard layout of 1 through 0 because well personally my hands are pretty big but at the same time I do not like using uh, any numbers beyond 6 because it's 
becomes really awkward controlling with the uh, WASD and so basically whenever I play I use 1 through 6 the little uh, squiggly thing before 1 and usually 1 1 F through one, F6 as my key binds but here it's it's not necessary to have everything but it's still you have to move around with your hand on the keyboard when you're playing which is kinda awkward for me I like to have everything uh, within the reach of me able to control my character and uh, physically like it hits motion and then its abilities but um, what I was trying to get to is that the tablet version it's I think it's kinda like what's being done with VU that you have that additional control or, or more accurate probably be um, the Vita where you have that additional ability to use abilities on the touch screen which I really like on the Vita and on in the game so controls uh, motion controls are harder but um, the ability controls are much uh, more fun to use in combat but at the same time um, placement of obstacles it's kind of it takes a little bit longer on the tablet because you have to position it and do stuff like that plus you can make some mistakes if you're being kinda of slow like I was while doing my recording like one of my sides is completely undefended because of the bad placement uh, but it's also on the tablet it's easy while you're placing your uh, your defenses to block them up with your hand that's kind of also why I did not use a video camera to record the footage. I had to figure out a way to record directly from the tablet onto the PC. And by the way, I did it. If anyone needs uh, info on how I did it, I'll just uh, message me and leave me a comment. I'll make sure to get back to you. It took me a while, but I figured it out. So, back to the game. The controls are different. In some ways they're better, in some ways they're worse, but at the end of the day, they're not game-breaking in any form. But at the same time, as you might have noticed, the amount of mobs that are on um, in each wave is different in comparison from the tablet version on the PC. For example, right now, um, you're looking at wave 5 out of 5 on the tablet, and I have... Uh, 5 out of 47 kills whereas on the PC version it is actually 0 out of 61 so you do have a lot more mobs to kill in the PC version and um, I'm assuming the, the disparity between how many mobs are in each version is mainly due to the control difficulty of the other uh, system you want to say system but uh, yeah, let's use systems, not exactly consoles, but whatever. So, what I'm getting is that it is definitely uh, different. It can be more noticeable in the future when um, there are hard modes in the game. And with those hard modes, uh, the difficulty could be a lot more different from the tablet to the PC. If you think about it on a scaling uh, system, because, well... Technically now there is a disparity of uh, 14 uh, mobs between the two on an easy mode in the first uh, stage on the easy mode. So if you scale this up to max level on hard mode, I think it could be even hundreds of mobs. But uh, don't call me because I haven't played it so I don't know but there is that possibility. At the same time, it is still basically the same game and basically same gameplay, same mechanics, same graphics, a little bit different statics, but um, yeah, it's well. The main question when I started the video was, is like the what's up with this? And well, I think that tablets, although not the future of gaming, but they're 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 more than just a way to play Angry Birds or Tetris. Nothing against those games, but they're not really games that you would actually play when you're not on the bus. Whereas the even the tablet version of the game, 
you can pick it up and play play it at home. Obviously, you probably would play it rather on a PC, but the tablet version is free and the PC isn't, so that's kind of the difference. Of and it's still the same game, so I think I looked at it pretty well, and I hope you enjoyed the video and. Uh, Thank you and take care.